Hi hey folks, Brian Fisher here at Cape Yachts, actually in our marina in South Dartmouth, Massachusetts, on board our Oceanus 34.1 that we have here in stock and available as of May 31st, 2023. Let's have a look around. So this particular boat that we have is a beautiful white oak interior, two cabin, one head, really nice large head uh, with separate shower area. We'll look at that in a second. You'll see the modern design with the windows in the top sides, plenty of shelf space uh, for storage. This boat has air conditioning that works on shore power. Beautiful forward primary cabin here, also with the windows in the top sides. Very nice table in the center with storage within. Some nice wine bottle storage in this one. You know, the French think of everything. Beautiful colors. Upholstery were chosen for this boat. What you'll see is a very basic, simple instrument panel, your 12 volt panel, your stereo, BNG VHF. There's your air conditioning controls over here, some light switches, the inverter that this boat is equipped with, and the optional chart table. That section of cushion underneath is removable. And there you have a big boat style chart table. Moving aft over here on the port side, go into the head. Very nice, large sink, lots of storage. Moving further aft, that glass partition separates the shower. Look at that nice shower space. With the adjustable shower head height over here, a hatch, you don't get too steamy places to put things within the shower on a 34 foot boat very nice roomy space similar attributes over here in the galley where we have our sink refrigerator foot pump gas stove two burners oven of course plenty of storage all over this boat really equipped for proper cruising see some bottle holders down there glass holders up top moving aft into the aft cabin there are your battery switches and some breakers and really nice berth back here definitely a slightly larger square footage than the forward possibly a little less motion a little quieter back here Got all that nice shelf space over here to put maybe a bag, your phone, a book. More shelf space over here and more storage. Plenty of storage on this boat, which is a very common question. Backing out, of course, the Yamar diesel is under these stairs. On gas shocks. There she is. Really not much to do with the diesel these days, but you can see your coolant. You can see your raw water intake back there. Oil dipstick is up here in the front over on the right hand side. There you have it. Also plenty of storage and easy access under all of these floorboards. Let's take a look in the cockpit. Moving out into the cockpit, you can see that this boat that we have has the teak cockpit option, the deluxe cockpit table, nice, very large leaves fold up on each side, ice box down underneath this nice wooden lid, moving aft, twin wheels, of course, fold out transom area, integrated ladder, we have BNG electronics on this boat, this boat is optioned with the bow thruster and also the remote windlass control under that gray cover over here. 
Genoa sheets are led back to these primaries and all the other controls are in the cabin top winches which are powered on this boat. This boat has an in-mast furler. It's also optioned with the, actually this boat has the Genoa, uh, but it's done on the 3D ring system, which means there are not tracks, which is very nice. One last thing to bump your feet on. Moving forward, you see how wide the foredeck is here. Genoa furler bow sprit, which is called the downwind pack, place for your code zero or a spinnaker. There's your anchor lock, anchor roller. And here is your anchor locker. Actually don't have the chain and road in here yet, but you can see your windlass. So looking aft, you see just how wide this boat is, just a huge development in space over the 30.1. Really a boat meant for a family, a couple couples, or a luxurious day sailing boat. I've sailed this boat offshore, off Miami, in a pretty good breeze. Really comfortable, really great performance. There she is.